So let's talk about the importance of mindfulness and being present during this type of situation. This is the best quote when it comes to thinking this way. The outer situation of your life and whatever happens there is like the surface of the lake, sometimes calm, sometimes windy and rough, according to the cycles and the seasons. But deep down, the lake is always undisturbed. So remember, you are the whole lake, not just the surface. And that's by Eckhart Tolle. For most people, the chaos and noise happening around them and within their own minds feels like all there is. They're wrapped up in it. They live in a constant state of reactivity, being pushed and pulled by the thoughts and emotions that they experience. They're controlled by a voice in their head that worries about everything that can go wrong, criticizes them for everything that they do wrong, and feels guilty or angry about everything that went wrong. This voice interprets every situation instantaneously, and that's why we often don't question it, just like we don't question breathing. It just kind of happens. And it's happening unconsciously, meaning that it's going on without us being aware of it. And then when we feel and act based on our vo voice's interpretation of whatever is going on around us, then we just continue to feel bad and are at the mercy of what's happening. And this happens until you develop self-awareness and mindfulness. And at that point, you no longer are stuck on autopilot, feeling like you have no control over your thoughts, your emotions, your life. Because the truth is that unless you know what you're thinking and feeling and doing, then you have no way of changing it. And that's where mindfulness comes in. So simply developing this awareness is very simple, but it is the key that unlocks all of your power. Power to direct your own inner voice, choose better feeling emotions, and make better decisions. So start out by listening to the voice in your head as often as you can. Pay particular attention to any thoughts that tend to repeat, which we all have. We say the same things and think the same things over and over again. You wanna be the observer of what is happening inside of you. So again, the surface of the lake and the depths. And see if you can feel and find that calm at the bottom of the lake, even when the surface is rough. When you notice yourself feeling fearful or angry, you'll observe that the fearful and angry part is going on, but there's an observational part that is seeing what's happening at the same time. And this is important to know because your true self never becomes disrupted and entangled in these surface level dramas. There's a part of you that is at peace, that's content, that feels safe and even joyful, no matter what is going on around you or in your mind. Your higher self is untouchable, undisruptible, and knowing that it's always there means that you can seek to find it in any moment. It's just like when the sun dips below the horizon, when you've been watching it set. It still exists, even though you can't see it. So in the same way, this calm, peaceful presence that is you is always there. And it's important to note that the doorway into this sense of awareness and remembering the bottom of the lake is the present moment. And unfortunately, most people's minds have a strong habit of spending a lot of their time thinking about the past and imagining the future and usually worrying about the future. But the power to observe and redirect your thoughts and emotions and behaviors is accessible when you bring your awareness back to the present moment. When you're paying attention to what is going on in this moment, you're not paying attention to what you imagine other people are doing or what you imagine could possibly happen in the future. You're not replaying past events in your mind because your focus is here. Now, you're present, aware, and mindful. And the best way to practice mindfulness and being present is to, as often as you can, take a moment to pay close attention to whatever it is that's happening in your immediate situation. So for instance, pay attention to each step you take to the noise going on around you, like the air conditioner or people talking or the clock ticking. Pay attention to your breathing. And once you pull your awareness back into the present moment, it gives you an opportunity to notice what you're thinking. And then, of course, to change it, to feel a little bit better. So the next time you notice yourself worrying, 
it doesn't mean that you failed. It means that you succeeded because once you notice it and once you know what's going on in your mind, then you have the awareness to choose a new way of thinking. So in the rest of the videos in this section, we're going to be talking about how to change your thinking, change your perspective, and even change your actions in order to cope with stress, grief, worry, and fear, and to feel better through this experience.